All right, thanks, Chuck. For those without heat now, this winter weather can be dangerous, and unfortunately, that was the case for a Peoria woman found dead by police on Tuesday. Caitlin Pearson spoke with a regretful neighbor. This boarded up house is where an elderly Peoria woman lost her life after succumbing to cold temperatures. I talked to the coroner about how quickly things like frostbite and hypothermia can take effect. On Tuesday, Peoria police were called here, East Melbourne Avenue, for a welfare check. That's where they found 80-year-old Joyce Hextall. Her cause of death, significant cold exposure with signs of frostbite. It's going to be very individualized per person about how long that can set in. But I think it can happen really fast, especially in elderly and infants. Um, it, it half an hour outside it, exposed, um, is going to, you're going to start to have symptoms for sure. Some shivering, you might feel cold and have some um, judgment that might be a little bit impaired. But as those symptoms progress where you're short of breath, and um, now you have confusion, you might lose consciousness, your heart rate slows. That's when you're in trouble um, when it comes to hypothermia. Unfortunately, the home had no working furnace or heat source, something neighbors are saddened by, wishing they could have made a difference. She kept to herself and um, well, didn't know that she didn't have no heat. If we would have known, I would have helped. My suggestion would be to find a, a warming center, find a, a shelter that you can go to. Um, we absolutely do not recommend heating your house with a stove um, or anything like that. This tragedy motivating neighbors to do their part to not let this happen again. Check on the elderly, man, if especially if you, if you have an old neighbor or something, you know, family, your mom, dad, check on them, man, because it's rough out here. This is the first cold weather related death in 2020, according to Harwood, and he hopes it will be the last. In Peoria, I'm Caitlin Pearson.